<laughs> we needed to treat ourselves, right? You gotta treat yourself sometime. Guys, it's us. It's me. It's Rick. We are on our road trip. We got out of Vegas because, guys, I haven't worked for over a month. Like, I came back from my Canada trip like a month ago. So, I was going stir crazy at home doing nothing. Rick was busy working, working. So, we decided to get out of Dodge and come to. Camp Verde. We are in Camp Verde. If you don't know where that is, it's south of Sedona. We're gonna end up in Sedona tonight, but we stopped here because there's this uh, national monument that we wanted to take a look at. It's like a dwelling in the cliff by the Sanagua people. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, but yeah, so let's go take a look at that. This is the gift shop. We'll come back and look in here. So. We decided to hit the road. We didn't go anywhere last month because since, well, see, so my last trip was 30 a month. The Air Canada was a month, so I was gone for a month. And now I'm home for a month. So I guess it kind of evens out, right? But yeah, so we didn't go anywhere last month because I just wanted to recoup from being on that one month trip. So we decided to go back to Sedona because we love it there so much. It's coming up, you guys, look. It's really cool. They most likely build their dwellings up on the cliff because this is a river. So like to be safe from like flooding and stuff. Yeah, because you can see it like it starts like down here too as like a level. How did they come up then? Look at that. Ooh, look at this. I want to listen to the there to see here, so we're just gonna follow this path. Oh, so they're thinking it looked it might have looked like that. Wow. lots of rustling in the bushes there's lots of lizards scurrying around in the bushes I don't do lizards either and they said there's like rattlesnakes too It started like from that side all the way to the main part that we seen earlier. All these rooms there. Crazy that this whole thing was like a was like a hotel. <laughs> or it's like an apartment building built into the side of a cliff. <laughs> Alright, we're back in the visitor center because it is so hot out there. I think we're gonna get a magnet. We always get a magnet. At least a magnet of this national park. We don't have the, we didn't renew our national park pass, so um, we had to pay for this entrance. It was $10 each. They make Legos and everything nowadays. Here's some magnets. This one's neat because it goes vertical. You want a postcard? No, yeah, just look how cool that postcard oh, is. Oh, yeah. Mm. That is. That's a postcard. So there's three things to see in this area. We've seen this right now. We're gonna go see this uh, right after this. And then this one is a little bit, uh, it's not that far from here, but it's also part of the national uh, park here. 
and the fee for this one is also included for what we paid today so you can go and see all three of these this one that one is actually free but the fee paid for these two uh entrances this is so weird it's like drizzling with the sun out now my car's gonna be all dot 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 <laughs> Indian rain. Just rain already. But it'll fix the drop. Oh, it's a heavy drop. Wait, what did Ali say? Take a sharp left turn. Wait a minute. So we just got to the parking lot for the Montezuma well, but it's raining, so we're gonna wait to see if it passes. All right, the rain stopped, but we're walking. Here's the entrance. Well, actually, there's two ways. There's this way that we're going, and then there's another way that way. But we're going to go this way. Oh, my gosh. Here it is. Wow. So I said the the lake is still being fed by natural springs and then the Sinegua people used it to um, irrigate their crops and stuff and then they have the dwellings there look they lived some more like cliff dwellings that is so cool Without fish. It's fish. No, Leech? or leeches? Yeah, there's a there's only these things, fish and then that. Not fish but shrimp. Oh yeah look. Leeches mm, cannot see. Leeches. Ew. Nice covered up with ice. Ew, I hope we don't see that. That's a huge amicool. Oh my gosh. That's the papa lizard. What do they call that thing? I don't want to know. Moving on. There's so many sounds of nature. I don't know if it's the good kind or the bad kind. I do hear the river though again. It's that same river that we were along where the castle was. Because this is not too far from the castle. It's just like up the road. But now we're walking to the others, like around the well, the lake, to this other viewpoint. Um, you can see the, the dwellings a little bit better. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, there it is. Ma, look, my amakua. Where are you? It's like camouflage. There, you see it? Oh, there you go. There's like some creek access. I'm just gonna go down a little bit. Oh, wow, look at that. Like this whole, like, can you see it? Like this whole, I wonder if that's like their irrigation system that they built. Oh, duh. Well, I should have read the sign before I went down because here's the information. So, yeah, it's like a water duct. We're under, a we're under a cloud, so it feels good now with the breeze. The sun is under there. Stay there for a little bit. We're walking back to the car.
we just got to our hotel well bungalow or tiny home as you can call it it's so cute and that's the street there's like three streets of these well it's a whole resort it's called sedona pines resort so they have like mini golf a pool spa fitness center laundry room and all kinds of activities the front this uh, agent was telling us when we checked in a little porch you may enter there's Rick he brought the whole house okay well let's get a room tour really fast A fireplace, kitchen, and then wow, the, the kitchen, kitchen, bathroom, and the bedroom. Oh, I just walked into the wall. I like when they have all, oh my gosh, the TV's up there. Look, they put the TV up there. This is really nice. What is this? Is this a CD player? Wow. Oh, there's a fan. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a CD player. I wish I had some CDs. Can we still buy CDs? For what? The surround system? They must have a surround. Well, there's speakers up there, so they must have like a built in sound system. That's so cool. But you can turn the heat on. And the heat will, oh yeah, I feel the heat, see? Okay, turn you off. How do you turn, okay, turn off. All right, we dropped everything off in our little tiny home and we're gonna go get dinner now. It's about 4.15 right now, but it's the weekend in Sedona. Everything closes early, so we're gonna go get some dinner. Maybe watch movies. I'm not too sure because the new Alien movie comes out and I love the Alien series. But we'll see how I feel. Aliens. But um, yeah, let's go. back at our tiny home as you can see it's about 6 30 p.m after dinner uh we were so stuffed and um i just wanted to come back to our little tiny home and relax um now i'm gonna i'm boiling some water i knew that we were gonna have a kitchen here so i wanted to i was craving pasta salad so i brought all the ingredients to make pasta salad and um something for us to eat probably for lunch um over the next couple of days or just like a snack or something uh like a side dish so i'm just gonna make some pasta salad and then um relax for the rest of the evening all right pasta's all cooked we had this pasta lying around at home so i just decided to use it with the tony so i have tomatoes and cucumber and yellow pepper and onions and then we're going to use lemon vinaigrette and the key to good pasta salad is to drench that in sauce I forgot they had shredded cheese too. But yeah, as I had mentioned earlier, um, when I first talked to you guys opening the vlog, how um, I've been home for over a month. Like work has been super slow this month. So I've been home for over a month, staring at the four walls, like getting, what do you call, stir crazy, I guess. And I just needed to do something, get out of Vegas, Rick's been working hard every day, going to work, daily grind. He wanted to get out, go go somewhere. So he was like, let's go back to Sedona. So that's why we came back here. And there's so much stuff to do here, like hiking especially. Um, so that's why we came back here. And then this little tiny home 
um, is through his work. Um, he was able to book it through his work uh, for free. So we didn't have to pay for it. For And we're here for three nights. So yeah, it's really cool. I always wanted to try and stay at one of these little tiny homes. I was like so intrigued with them. Um, tiny home living. I always watch vloggers. Tiny home living and car life, van life, van lifers. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I have two hikes planned. Well, one is not really a hike. It's like a park here um that has a vortex it's like a easy like a walk through the park and then there's a vortex there and we did bring our crystals and stones so that we can charge them and then there's another hike it should be an easy hike um that we're gonna do uh that one's more like in the desert and then what else did i have planned um i think i wanted to go check out like a little shopping center that i didn't get to check out last time we were here and yeah, that's all I have plans uh, for now for tomorrow. So we'll see um, how that goes. Mm -hmm.